Okay, can we do this? I think so, I'm sitting on a bean bag. That sound might be annoying and I'm doing laundry, but we're gonna do this. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I um, am so excited because I've been waiting forever. Oh, I forgot my hair clip. Let me get it for you. Here you go. Cause this is one of the things I wanted to show you friends. So I've been waiting forever to do this haul because, and by forever I mean like three days, but I haven't worn basically any of this stuff in the haul because I wanted to show you first, that's why. And actually I'm just seeing, oh, we're not off to a good start. And honestly, this light is still bad. Like, is that better? I just don't wanna be washed out and I don't like that the fan is there lord help us and everything's blue for some reason i don't know why everything's so blue but we're gonna keep going so anyway i have a ton of stuff to show you i'm really excited i think i'm gonna reveal some of these things soon but i've been doing monthly capsule wardrobes for quite a few months now at least four or five and it's been really fun because it's been a way for me to be able to wear and enjoy the clothes that I have without feeling overwhelmed and I'll get into that later but I found the other day by accident at the thrift store I think what's going to be my next new monthly capsule pieces so I'm just going to show you the ones that I just bought and then I will show you the rest of them later but let's start with this t-shirt I cannot tell you that I bought this t-shirt because I didn't. This was a gift from my mom. She made it. And would you just look at the detail? Ah, I'm so happy. I love it so much. It is literally my Pinterest dreams. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, then you probably don't understand my style at all. <laughs> you should definitely check it out um, because I just pin incessantly. But also, it really inspires me and helps me to kind of wrap my mind around some of the ideas that I have. So anyway, first thing is this t-shirt. Next thing is this hair clip, which I'm not even sure if you can see that well. But this guy came from Dollar Tree in a pack of two. And I was so excited because, you know, the pearl... Um, barrette has been very on trend lately and it's probably actually about to go out of trend but I just really like it I think what I've been trying to navigate is a way to have a very eclectic but classy yet yeah, my age but playful wardrobe and so I think that this guy really just helps you achieve that look it's very 90s which is very trendy but it's also very um this is very fun. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is actually not a wardrobe item at all. It is this. Tell me in the comments below what you think I am going to do with this. I'm going to DIY it and I'm so excited. I'll give you a little hint. There are 25 boxes. I, wow. So this guy, I think it says my collection on top it was probably for like a spoon collection or something, but I love that the doors work like they open and they actually stick closed and it's a really good size. I mean, I think you're getting a great idea for scale by me just hit, had, <sighs> having it next to my head, but, um, yeah, I love it. It's this deep, so a couple inches deep, and I think if I paint that puppy, we're gonna be in business, so that's so good. Um, okay, so I don't really shop at Kohl's a lot, but I had some Kohl's cash, and I went in there and found this, and you will see in the capsule wardrobe why this works so well, but this is such a beautiful fuzzy scarf, and I just love the colors. I really like this tone right here. I guess you would call it like a mustardy color paired with, everything is washing out so much in the light, paired with this um, cream. So I really love just the colors of this. I think it is so beautiful and it's fuzzy and it goes really great with my coat that I have. So there's that. Um, okay, back to housewares. I was at Hobby Lobby and I found this guy and I think I'm actually going to sell it. I got two, but I can completely see these lined up or like leaned up against a the back of a bookshelf like if you've got built-ins or if you just have like shelving on your wall or honestly in your kitchen like instead of the 
cliche, not cliche, but classic and kind of overdone cutting board. I have cutting boards, I'm not judging, but the cutting board look, you could do something like this and I think it would be really beautiful. Um, and so yeah, I got two of them. It also would double as a tray. It's got a metal piece all throughout it, which is so perfect because it will hold its shape. Like this is not going anywhere. So then I took a trip to Target and at Target I found this hearth in hand rolling pin and if you've never seen one of these before you definitely need to look up what they do they are absolutely amazing again check out my pinterest but i will try to add some pictures for you guys here because essentially it just indents whatever the print on the rolling pin is on to whatever you're rolling out so whether that's like cookies or um like a pie crust and it's just really really a beautiful effect so i'm super excited to use that this time of year i like to make pot pies and stuff like that but also for just like sugar cookies and all kinds of stuff i just think it's really pretty and i got that thing for six dollars the house i got for 3.99 and this guy i'm not gonna tell you how much i got it for but trust me it was a deal let's begin with this sweater i'm gonna see if i can overlay my shopping for these items on top of this video because I think that will probably be the best way for you to see how they look on. I don't want to re-film, but I found this classic sweater. It's St. John's Bay, which is, it's a brand that you see a lot at the thrift store, but just a really classic, almost nautical looking um, sweater. And I just really like that. So I thought that was a good piece that I could wear a lot. I find myself wearing neutral sweaters, just tucked into high-waisted jeans like all the time. And it's kind of a really fun uniform for a go-to. So then I got this guy, which came with <laughs> Velcro shoulder pads like you can literally stick these in that is hilarious evan thinks that this is a pajama top i think it's beautiful this is very anthropology if you follow me on instagram and facebook you probably have heard me say that phrase like a million times and you're sick of it but i really am into their stuff right now and this shirt just spoke to me so much look at the texture and the color ah it's so beautiful and it would be beautiful with the sleeves down or beautiful with them rolled up and i plan to tuck it in or tie it at the waist i just think this guy is so pretty i'm so happy so happy i found it um sorry that the lighting keeps changing in here it's the middle of the day so it is what it is okay so speaking of neutral colored sweaters i found this off pink sweater the brand is Be Cool, which I think is really funny. Um, and the brand of that other shirt was Bethany. Anyway, I just really like this guy and I think it's beautiful. I like the detail of it. Like see how the shoulders kind of go off and then it's got this one seam up the middle. I just think it's really, really pretty and it's flattering. You can wear this one with leggings. You can wear this one tucked in. You can wear it tucked out. That's a good sweater. I love it. Okay, so another very anthro, I'm going to call it like boutique inspired so I can stop talking about that one store, but very boutique inspired top is this one. It has frills, which you see, so it has a lot of ruffles and frills. It has one around the neck that goes basically all the way around and meets right here at the neckline about there. And then it's got one that two that go down the sides wide enough though that it's not like framing your chest in a weird way it's got one at the bottom of the top which i'd be tucking it in but still good to know it's at the bottom just like a longer peplum and then it has one set of frills at the edge of the sleeves which are three quarter length sleeves this top is so flattering and just a little thrifting tip no like keep in mind what things just look good on you all the time here comes Samson um, because it'll be really helpful for shopping. Like I knew I didn't need to try this on. It's a size medium. So, oh no, it's a size small, which is what I typically wear. And I know these colors obviously look good on me, but I also know my shape. And I knew that like this shape top is flattering on me. So I didn't need to try it on. I did try it on, but I knew I didn't need to because I knew it would fit well. Hi, Bubba. Hi, say hi, Piggy Piggy. 
Hey, pig, pig. Welcome to my filming space. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I was trying to distract him, but he's done being distracted, so he's just gonna be with us. Okay, last but not least, no, two more things. This and one more thing. I found, and I don't know this brand, but I feel like I should, Jacqueline Smith. I should look it up. Anyway, Jacqueline Smith Classic Leather Blazer. And it is real leather, and it is so flattering, and it is so great. The pockets really work, which is nice. Like, I could put something in the pockets, imagine. Okay, now he's moving the table. Great. Um, I could actually put something in these pockets, which is so good. And I just, I just love it. It's got two buttons. The buttons are in the right place. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. What do you want to see all the stuff I got? Nosy. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with this. I know it's a little bit edgy, but I think it would look great. Just honestly on top of like this t-shirt, just really basic with like lighter colors i think it could just be very sophisticated and cute and great and last but not least i found this three pack of notebooks and they're so cute this is at hobby lobby um there's one that has blank pages one that has grid pages and one that is lined pages and these are the three designs and this three pack was $2.49. So I'm going to Passion this year. I'm really excited. I'm leaving tomorrow. Ah! And if you have to, like it's in a stadium, so you have to have like a clear bag. And I'm bringing a clear bag that's gonna be kind of smallish. And so I didn't wanna bring like a full size notebook and a full size Bible, full size everything. So I think one of these guys, I think I'll probably do the one with the lines, but one of these guys I felt would be a really good choice for passion because also it'll all be in one place and i can just use it for like being out in a way and all that kind of stuff so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i will definitely fill you in and show you the rest of my little capsule things now he's sniffing my toes wow please stop oh no he's sniffing the shoulder pad <laughs> oh sam um so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one i will continue posting and we will see you later, right? Say bye-bye. He's always chewing.